was taxed at a dismal 2%. But I don't believe that figure, by the way. But letting me leave it to experts. As a way of intensifying our efforts in changing the tides and combating climate change, and in line with the national government's agenda of planting 15 million trees by 2032 to reduce carbon emissions, my administration this year planted over 200,000 seedlings in institutional public places in an effort to bring Kisumu. I guess this data has not been captured at the national level. Hence, it remains at 2%, although I think the efforts we have made should be recognized by compiling national data. We, comp we commend our greening champions comprising various corporate organizations. Key players in the county tree planting initiative include the Aga Khan Hospital in Kisumu, Sierra Resort, Equity Bank, Kenya Forest Service, Kajulu Forest Committee, First Community Bank, Selela Resort, Inuka Hospital, and so on. Others are Taiba Hospital, VSO Kenya, Kura, La Pal Hotel, Kemfri, Standard Chartered Bank, Kenya Forest Service, Undugu Society, United Mitumba Kibuye, Kenha, County Commissioner's Office, Bandani Community, African Air Rescue, and the University of Nairobi, not to mention you members of County Assembly who have mobilized your various, um, your various uh, units to join in this tree planting exercise. And I'm sure by the end of next year, when the national data is freshly collected, Kisubu will have a higher percentage of forest cover than we have now. My government encourage, encourages everyone to plant trees and nurture them to maturity. Miti ni uhai. To deal with the perennial flooding in parts of the country, we distilled well over 50 kilometers of waterways. Notable were waterways distilled during this period included Ngere Stream, Oroba Stream, Nyakoko Stream, Apuche water, water, Waterway, Lielamu Stream, and Osoma Canal, amongst others. Mr. Speaker, sir, the infamous Kachok dump site is no longer an environmental eyesore, as it was the first victim of our ambition in 2018. A thriving children's park and an, an elaborator named after our famous baby Pendo, killed by police during the 2017 post election violence, has given the former dump site a new identity. We have directed that garbage generated from Kisumu City and environs be ferried to Kasese in Nombei Ward, where we are establishing a waste to energy plant. The M Taka Act, launched during the 2023 World Environment Day, stands as one of the county's most innovative and informative initiatives, revolutionizing waste management and recycling practices through its tech-integrated approach for a sustainable and circular economy. MTACA app leverages technology and social incentives to create a positive impact on the environment, society, and the economy. The project has engaged over 2,500 community members and, been, and has been implemented in three schools with more than 200 waste agents and champions empowered. Now let me move to education, technical training, innovations and social services. Mr. Speaker, sir, honorable members, education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. A quotation from former South African President Nelson Mandela, the African icon. In Kisumu County, we have built a strong foundation in education through early childhood education which is a devolved function, besides the management of technical and vocational training colleges. Kisumu County has 686 ECD centers, of which 629 are anchored in primary schools, and 657 are standalone public ECD centers. The public ECD centers have a total enrollment of 50,724 children, of whom 22,880 are girls and 28,544 are boys. 
to ensure the retention of children in ECD centers. The county government started feeding program, which has been a huge success. The budgetary allocation for the feeding program in the financial year 2022-2023 was 16.9 million Kenyan shillings. To ensure increased enrollment at the ECD with infrastructure, we constructed more classrooms and toilets. In the financial year 2022-2023, 12 new classes were constructed to completion, whereas 72 others are currently undergoing construction. To build the capacity of the newly recruited teachers for the young learners, in the financial year 2022-2023, the county government, in collaboration with our partners, trained a total of 1,149 teachers from all the sub-counties. In addition, to ensure quality education at the ECD centers, the county government allocated 20 million shillings in the financial year 2022-2023 for the purchase of learning materials comprising textbooks, exercise books, pencils, and erasers. This intervention is aimed at creating an impact that results in quality education, its high completion rate, and 100% transition to standard one. Let me go now to VTCs. Kisumu has also been on the first lane in technical education and vocational training. Two of our VTCs, Akado in Kisumu East and Ahero in Nyando, sub-counties, have won accolades from the Commission of Revenue Allocation whose officials visited, visited our county. Thank you very much, the managers of Akado in Kisumu East and Ahero in Nyando for those accolades. Akado is one of the few VTCs in the county that has innovatively created a breast feeding room to allow teen mothers to attend classes. As they attend lessons, their babies are looked after by caregivers. They then get to breastfeed the babies during break and lunch hours, ensuring that the babies get the best nutritional uptake required for growth at this stage, at this age. This has increased the children population and given new hope to teen mothers. Other VTCs which with such facilities are Rotary, Katito, and Nyangoma. At Ahero, the VTC students have clothes, including make clothes, including school and corporate uniforms, which they sell to the public. They also have a flourishing vegetable garden and help to reduce the college food bot budget. Mr. Speaker, sir. In the last two financial years, we completed six construction projects, disbursed capitation grant to VTCs, and had linkages with partners in the sector. Last year, we completed the construction of Lela VTC in Kobura Ward, which is ready for official opening. Our aim is to establish at least one VTC in each ward within the Kisumu County. For the very first time in our county, we held a joint VTC's graduation ceremony for 2,229 VTC graduates across the country on March 25, 2022. Enrollment in our VTCs has also increased from 4,000 trainees in 2014 to 5,456 currently. To strengthen gender responsive practices, we recently established agenda ministering policies and trained 35 ward administrators to gender mainstreaming in public participation. This is in addition to establishing sexual and gender-based violence committees at the sub-county level. Let me move to infrastructure, public works, and energy. Mr. Speaker, sir, the El Nino rains predicted by the Meteorological Department are here with us and not nobody cheaters. And we are making efforts to ensure the safety of those living in flood-prone areas. We remain committed to the promise and will not relent on our efforts to make roads in Kisumu fully motorable to improve accessibility and service delivery. In the past two years, we focused on key infrastructure programs, which included upgrading key gravel roads to be two main standards, machine-based program, road maintenance teams program, road standardization through clay creek technologies and contracted roads, and box culverts. 
One of our flagship projects is the upgrading of the 15.2 kilometers number Capillo, Bodia Sad, Bao Beach Road in Senesa County to be the standard to, re to reach the renowned island on the lake, which are tourist destination, Dere Island. By engaging the National Youth Service to construct the road, the county has saved 7 million shillings per kilometer. Previously, the cost per kilometer of road stood at 35 million shillings compared to the NYS government contract current cost of 27.7 million. Phase one of this project is 85% complete with 5.8 kilometers of the road already tarmacked. In a bid to improve the condition of existing infrastructure in the key facilities in the city, we upgraded internal roads within Mamboleo showground to capital standards as it houses key facilities such as the new Mokinyata the Mokinyata International Sports Complex <coughs> and the Associated Convention Center. These two facilities will host key events in the region in the future and has already done so during our facilities. Last year, through the machine-based program, we opened and rehabilitated 200 kilometers of roads within the county. Honorable members, my administration is also made, has also made a decision to shift focus to a two-pronged strategy of rehabilitation and maintenance by existing networks using the road maintenance team strategy. Under this program, we managed to rehabilitate and maintain 350 kilometers of roads by undertaking minor works, 230 uh, residents comprising of youth and women have been employed, no, 3,230 residents comprising of youth and women have been employed in various categories serving for a period of nine months. Mr. Speaker, sir, to help reduce the cost of road maintenance, we opted uh, to using our own equipment. We revived the key road construction equipment to support the machine-based road program. Through the machine-based program, the department is able to save half a million shillings per kilometer as compared to contracting. Some of the roads constructed through the machine-based program include Konono, Arombo in Kabonyo, Kanyagua, Riyadh, Bur, Ayirko in Awasi, Onjiko, Kagengo Road in Korua East, Labanogedo Road in Korua East, 